been a very rainy, cozy day. We made cookies, we stomped in puddles. And I am now making soup. I'm about to go out into the rain. Gotta save the daffodils. Where are you putting those puzzle pieces? Are you shoving them under the couch? No, no. Yeah. We've just been doing some small things around the house and it's like feeling more put together. I feel like I really scored at TJ Maxx. So I wanna show you what I got. Are you kidding? Look at it. We're going to Disney World soon. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, don't be alarmed. Just a cute little sheet mask thing. It's called like a slice sheet mask. So it's slices of strawberries and you can put them wherever you want them. It's super cute. I found it on Amazon. I just filmed a cutie little Valentine's Day reel. So that should already be up because you're seeing this after Valentine's Day. But today it is Monday, the th nope, Tuesday the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. But I just wanted to show you this. I matched my strawberry table. Don't mind the vacuum. I also need to make the bed. I'm full of excuses. Ooh, it has fallen off though. But yeah, I just wanted to greet you like this to start this vlog. <laughs> it is a glorious day, made even more glorious because we got Wingstop. This is embarrassing. It is not embarrassing. Look at this. Wingstop is the best. Um, but this is what we got. So we, I had a thing for five free wings, so it's kind of messed up, but we got two fries. Maybe one of my favorite fries in the whole world because I love their seasoning. Five of the mild, these are all boneless wings. My favorite is the lemon pepper. And then Bradley tried the legendary garlic Lakers flavor. I don't I've been know begging why. To try it. So that we got ranch, honey mustard, a Coke. It's a great day. Oh, hell yeah. That's just so good. So. And it's a lovely day. It's cold, but like the sun is shining, so it feels Happy nice. Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Let's have a mid wing update. Okay. Oh, the legendary garlic is uh, very garlicky. I didn't like it because it's covered in Parmesan, but it's like the fake nasty Parmesan. Also, didn't it say like three like peppers of it spiciness? It did. It had like uh, the on the Wingstop site, it's got like one or five like spicy things, and that one had three. Let's make not. an entire dedicated Wingstop video. When you click on a video of it, was... comment down below if that's what you want from us. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> what do I even look like? There was a what was Not the great. video I said to you? The... My ultimate favorite is the lemon pepper. There was one time I got something. Was it a like Cajun rub or something? It was very good. Louisiana rub or and something. And I can't remember to this day what it was. That it was delicious. Uh, I will not be getting the legendary garlic mm. again, though. Mm. Lakers, congrats on your in-season tournament win. But <laughs> I don't. This is my favorite, but I love this a lot as well. It's, I need right both. Now. I can't, but probably those. No, I don't know. It's like I need both tastes, and then you dip the lemon pepper in the honey mustard, you dip the mild in the ranch. It's just, Wingstop is life-changing. If you haven't tried it, you need to. Somebody really wants some. What do you have? You have a gut of leaf in your beard. Ludo's enjoying the sunshine, as are we. <laughs> Still very much winter, but in our yard, spring has sprung. Look at these. These are, I don't even, the narcissuses, narcissus. <laughs> Several of them have opened and continue to open. And I'm just so excited. Got some geraniums popping up. My hyacinths popping up, which I'm so excited about. I'm mostly excited about the hyacinths because there's a new hyacinth emoji that I wasn't able to use last year. And now it's the only emoji I'll be using. Those ones are coming up too. But since it's so lovely out, we are having a bit of a house plant shuffle. Just some things have gotten a little out of hand like this plant. Some things need a pot. We're gonna switch some pots because I don't want that one in the house. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I'll give you an update when it's done. It's been mostly a food vlog today in which we made dinner and both Bradley and I were like, we're not very hungry because of our wing stop, but somebody had to eat. Bradley made delicious Mexican rice. And then we have okay. um, chicken and sweet potato tacos with some leftover guacamole from the Super Bowl. putting those puzzle pieces. You shoving them under the couch? Yeah. All right, 
I'm about to go out into the rain. It's eased up a little bit, so I'm doing it now. Um, but I'm gonna save some daffodils because it's been raining so hard that all the daffodils that have bloomed already are flopping over. And in the past, I haven't had luck with them coming back up. So I'd rather cut them and enjoy them inside while they're still okay. And it's going to rain the rest of the day, all night, and then all tomorrow. So gotta save the daffodils. I had Bradley move this one just kind of like under the awning so it wouldn't get as much rain. But as you can see, the flowers are just totally drooped over. Same with the ones over there, so here we go. All right, I got these ones. Some of them have some water damage, but should be beautiful in a vase. Ooh. I think I'll leave this one as it's very dirty and become home to a couple slugs, if you can see that. Yuck. Future Amy popping into this vlog to thank the sponsor of this video, which is BetterHelp. I had therapy today and I just feel so much lighter and better. And I just, I want therapy for everybody. I want it for you all. It just helps me so much. So if you don't know what BetterHelp is, it is a online therapy platform where you can get real, actual therapy from your own home or wherever. It's remote. You can do it from wherever you are. They have over 20,000 real licensed therapists. A huge reason I love BetterHelp is for all the options that they have and the fact that it's available to you wherever you are in the world. It's just making therapy more accessible, more like appetizing for some of those who might not be into the whole, first of all, the commute. When I was going to in-person therapy, it took me like 45 minutes to get there. Now I do it from home. <laughs> but for people who might not be into like the sitting in the waiting room, flipping on the switch that you're there, if that just brings more anxiety to your plate, I feel like BetterHelp would be a great option. So if you decide to try BetterHelp, you'll take a quick quiz just so they can get to know you get to know your trouble areas and what you're wanting to work on so that they can pair you with who they feel would be a good match for you as a therapist. But if you don't vibe with that therapist, you can change therapist at no additional cost. They will do all the dirty work for you, which is incredible. But once you are set up with a therapist, you can make an appointment to chat with them in three different ways. You can do a FaceTime where you're face-to-face. -face. That's what I do. You could just do a phone call if you're not in the mood to be seen. But if you're not in the mood to be seen or heard, you can just do a messaging session, which I think is so cool. There are those moments when you are so deep in whatever you're dealing with that it might be hard to talk about it. And even if just like messaging with somebody can help, I just love that that's an option. I love that doing online therapy might pair you with a therapist that you can't normally see because you live in different states. My therapist lives in New York and I can't imagine seeing anybody else. So bless online therapy and bless BetterHelp. <laughs> if you wanna give BetterHelp a try, you can go to my link, which is betterhelp.com slash Amy Lynn. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash Amy Lynn. And you can get 10% off off your first month of therapy, which is major. A discount on mental health, yes. I'm never here to pressure you into it. I know that like therapy has to be something that you come to terms with on your own. You're ready for it. You're ready to do the work, but the work is so rewarding and so life-changing. So when you are ready, BetterHelp is there for you. My link is there for you to help you save some money. And I'm always here for you. You wanna chat? We can chat, DM me. But yeah, thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's go ahead and get back into the vlog. You see Milo in the bowl? You see mommy in the bowl too? <laughs> <laughs> It is 
much later now. I'm sorry, I'm in the dining room because Milo's watching his shows and it's kind of loud. But hi, happy Monday. As you've seen, it's been a very rainy, cozy day. We made cookies, we stomped in puddles. Bless you! We did all the rainy day things and I am now to make it even more cozy, making soup. I'm making my knockoff chicken gnocchi olive garden soup. It's so good. So I thought I'd give you a little time lapse of that. So I'm sorry I didn't get me putting the gnocchi in, but um, for the past few times I've made it, I've enjoyed using these like mini gnocchi trio packs from Trader Joe's. They're just like tiny gnocchis, but of course regular gnocchi is fine. Probably better. My husband is patiently waiting. I'm here. Are you ready for your soup? Uh, yes. <laughs> Recreate the soup. We just watched Ratatouille, so. I watched it while you napped. I napped for 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna eat our soup. Okay. Bye. Bye. Happy Tuesday. It's yet another cozy rainy day. Don't mind the laundry basket. Also, don't mind this. I just filmed an empties video, which I think will be going up before this, so I'll link it up in the corner. But like I said, another cozy rainy day over here. I'm actually all cozy in this sweater I got from Costco, which I don't know if I'd recommend because it really just pills immediately the second you start wearing it, but it is really soft and comfortable. So I don't know. But yeah, like I said, I just filmed some things. I'm about to like set up shop at the computer and do a lot of editing, which I love editing on a rainy day. I find it very cozy. But I wanted to show you something really quick. But I placed an order on Uniqlo for a couple of things for our Disney World trip. Have I mentioned that, that in this vlog? We're going to Disney World soon. Um, and so I wanted a belt bag and I follow Poppy Days on Instagram and she's always talking about the Uniqlo one. So I ordered one. I just, I've been looking for belt bags. I really enjoyed the shape of the Uniqlo one most. It's $20, which I think is not that bad, especially if you have like a Uniqlo near you, you don't have to pay for shipping and all that. Oh, it matches my sweater, but it's just going to be life-changing for like theme parking with a child. Like I can just keep all my crap right in here. So I haven't actually used it yet. So I'll let you know how it goes. But as far as like keeping my phone, just like the essential stuff that I want on my body, especially for like going on a ride or something. This is great. So I'm excited. Hi. Hey, oh my boy. Oh, please don't strip, you're on camera. I'm so sorry. Everybody's here now, the dog, the husband, the child. Here. And then since I was already placing an order, I just typed in Disney to see what they had. Cause in the past I've loved Disney. 
I love Disney Uniqlo shirts and I definitely want to go to Disney Springs and look at what they have there. There was nothing on the website that like grabbed my attention except this for Milo. Are you kidding me? It was a matching track suit, but it's gonna be kind of warm while we're there. So I figured I don't need to like put him in a sweatsuit. But how cute is this poo sweater? Look at the one laughing. Like it's just so cute. I love all the colors. Absolutely had to have this coming on our trip. I haven't ordered anything for him from Uniqlo yet. So this is very soft. We'll see how it holds up in washing and wearing and all that. Look how just adorable that is. So yeah, that's my little Uniqlo haul. The only two things I ordered. But yeah, another cozy rainy day around here that's going to involve a lot of editing and maybe my taxes. Yikes. You wanna have a picnic with me? You want a snack? Yeah. Okay, would you like cheese, crackers, strawberries, or it bar? It bar. It bar? Okay. There you go. Hey guys, it is now Thursday. It's been a couple of days since we've vlogged. As you can see, the rain is gone. It is beautiful out. And we're just having a little outside time. Milo just woke up from his nap. I was doing some editing. Bradley's here today. Bradley has the entire day off, which rarely happens. He's gonna make a fun dinner. So yeah, we're just chilling. I do have to go back up to the computer for a little bit, but wanted to enjoy the nice sunshine on my face. Of course, Ludie is here as well, looking a little scraggly. We always say it goes from like nice to homeless real quick with doodles and we've, we've reached the homeless right over my blanket. Thank you so much for that. Okay, mommy, have a kiss. I see a sky. <laughs> oh, do you see an airplane? Yeah, We're going to go on an airplane soon. Yeah. Bye, plane. Bye, plane. The rain did glorious things for our celery. It's looking like actual celery now. Like, look at that. Do you want to try some? Sure. I don't know if it's ready yet. A plane. A plane. Is it gross? It might not be like ripe. It's like salty. What? Ooh, it smells good. It was better than that one. It is very salty. It might not Why? just be ready yet. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I snuck inside to do a mini haul with you because today I actually had a fabulous day. Um, I snuck away with my mother and sister to go to TJ Maxx and Olive Garden, like the greatest time you could ever have. But I feel like I really scored at TJ Maxx. So I wanna show you what I got. First thing that caught my eye, you guys know I'm a bitch for this Crabtree and Evelyn rose water stuff. I usually get the other bottle, which is like shower gel and bubble bath, but this is just bubble bath. But I needed it for this bottle. Like how stunning for by my tub. Sorry if you can hear that. Bradley's running the water outside. But if you're ever in a TJ Maxx, you gotta pick this up and give it a sniff. For me, it's pure nostalgia because my mom always had this by her bathtub growing up, but it also just smells incredible and I just think this bottle is so cute. Next thing that caught my eye, I'm, I'm always looking for like art prints or just like stuff to hang on the walls because it really does make such a difference. And I, I toy between like having too much stuff on the walls, but I also don't want blank walls. But I've been looking for a piece to go there's like a bit of blank wall right outside our like laundry room slash my office. And I thought this piece would be so cute. Look how cute this is. This looks so like anthropology to me. It of course reminds me of Alice Wonderland, so I love it. I love the like brass looking frame. The blue will tie in with our handrail of our stairs and I just loved it. And it was $16.99, like for a, a good size print. So I'm gonna have Bradley hang that tonight. <laughs> Okay, and then I was gonna say maybe my favorite find, but I don't know. It's heavy, so here we go. Look at this plant pot. Are you kidding? Look at it, look at it. Look at the size of it. I want you to guess. Oh, pause the video. Either comment or just guess in your brain. Or I'll give you a second. Guess how much it is. It was only $20 for this giant pot. And I'm always looking for like bigger pots that I like because we always find the fun, cool, big plants and then I have nothing to put them in. But this, 
Oh my God, it's so cool. So I am delighted with that. I don't have a plan for it. I don't have a plan for it, but it came home with me because I will find a plan and a plant. And then lastly, boring, but I did get Milo a few books, which I feel like I haven't bought him books in a while. My Marshalls and my TJ Maxx like keep the books in the checkout line and like I, it's always so like frazzling to try and look through them. But this time I like went before I was actually checking out and just like really went through them and I found some good ones. First up is funny, it's an I Spy book, which you wouldn't know this about me because I never talk about it. I love I Spy. I used to be obsessed with the computer games. I would love to play those again. But I had the idea for the plane to get a couple I Spy books. I ordered one on Amazon, but this was not the one I ordered. So this is I Spy Little Bunnies. So it kind of tells you what to spy and then you find it in the thing and it's just like a cute little board book. He's going to love this. And so am I. Also, do you guys follow the girl on TikTok who like collects the trinkets in the I Spy books? Because I love her page. She also collects dandelion crayons, Crayola crayons that they discontinued. It's a really fun TikTok page. I got this Easter book, Peek a Flap Hop. Um, he just, he loves flat books and this one's a good one. I'm always looking for the flat books that are like not paper thin so he can't rip them and this was a good one and we need more easter books so i got that this one is called F my book of first words which he says plenty of words now but he loves books where he just points things out and so again for the plane i thought it would be good to introduce a couple new books so it's got like pets food he loves farm animals other animals <laughs> and also like he doesn't know all these things so it'll be good to learn but that one was cute and then this one made me say i think i said like oh my lord out loud like really loud it's called meet the mushrooms are you kidding me and it's kind of like this peak book it's the cutest thing in the entire world like i die for this so hopefully he enjoys it too but but yeah a few books for milo and some home decor things and while we're chatting home decor we've just been doing some small things around the house and it's like feeling more put together like inch by inch first thing of course this was not a small thing but we did the wallpaper which you of course saw in a vlog if you didn't i can link that vlog up in the corner we did the whole process with you you see it like before and after i also talked about it a little bit but i'm gonna stay back but these are all of our invitations from uh, the year of our wedding so the bachelorette party the engagement party save the date actual wedding invite rehearsal dinner bridal shower I like worked with minted to create all of those and I was really proud of them and so I made this little thing and I just think it's such a fun thing to have in the dining room and it ties in nicely with that so that's been sitting on the ground of the garage for a few months no years so it's nice to finally have it up <laughs> and then you saw in this video already I think but if you recall that piece used to be on that wall and it's such a cool piece that takes up a big amount of space that I was like where are we gonna put it and then I was like oh duh the top of the stairs so we did it I like the way it ties in with again the railing color we reused that there and then earlier in this vlog I said that we were repotting some plants we put this awesome plant which is so happy here we already have new growth but I love this plant so much and we put it in this pot that we got from Target I mentioned it in my Target haul I can link that up in the corner I can also link it down below I just love this pot so much we have two outside once it came back I knew I wanted it so we bought another one and then we also put this fiddly fig which was in a nasty blue pot in this beautiful pot we have from anthropology that we had a different plant in that wasn't working out so we repotted that into that and I love the way it looks in this corner. Things are looking fresh. Alrighty, it is dinner time and Bradley made- Ground turkey Salisbury steak. He like saved this recipe from what? Where did you see it? I saw, I was watching the Tournament of Champions on Food Network and I watched someone make it. Well, it's ground turkey, some sort of sauce, mushrooms, mashed potatoes. It's incredible. I doused mine in parsley, of course, but this is very tasty. Hi. Hi. A little salty, don't tell my mom. A little salty but um, still really, really delicious. So that's dinner tonight. Hey guys, it's much later. I just took a shower. We baked off more of these Easter cookies. I realized I made them in this vlog, but didn't explain. I discovered them last Easter. I will link either the creators. It's a, I found the recipe on Instagram. If I can link like the Instagram post, I'll post it. If not, I'll tag the creator, but they're Cadbury egg cookies, chocolate cookies, and they're incredible. I found Cadbury eggs on sale at CVS, so I bought some and I was just like, I'm just gonna go ahead and make them. Let's enjoy the Easter cookies for as long as possible. So we froze some of the batter and just cooked off more because I ate all of the other ones. Me and Milo did. Did you have any of the other ones? The first batch? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, not just me. But we are winding down for the night. We've been really into watching Bob's Burgers each night. One or two episodes. Oh. There's still so much to do. 
Ludo has defluffed a toy. But yeah, we are going to end this vlog here. Watch Bob's Burgers, eat cookies, go to bed. The next vlog you see from us will yes. hopefully be, well, not that. That'll oh. be after that. <laughs> hopefully like a packing, prepping for our trip vlog for Disney World. And then of course after that will be actual Disney World vlog, vlogs, I don't know. Probably just one vlog. Just but one of our whole trip? I don't know, I guess we'll see how much we vlog. We'll see. But um, Just yeah. one hour and a half long. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. That was in English. But thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to BetterHelp for... Po <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring a portion of this video. I will have my link down below if you wanna save that 10%. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.